Welcome back for another video everybody. This week's video we get hands on installing a new O2 sensor, fixing our fuel tank sender, and shaping up our exhaust system. So stay tuned. This is the main portion of my exhaust system that I have running from the collector all the way back to before the muffler. Uh, what I've had done on the car on this particular piece of exhaust is I have had this O2 sensor bung welded on. I did not do that uh, myself, I had someone else do that. You can see the quality of my other welds here um, that I did do, which is pretty poor, but the system does work. Um, I have here a Bosch O2 sensor, brand new in the box. And the reason I'm doing this is um, I don't really need it for the carburetors. But it's nice to have this for when the carburetors are tuned, I can get an accurate air fuel measurement. plan is the O2 sensor will connect to a system like this one. This is a PLX uh, digital air fuel wideband and what this does is it takes the reading from the O2 sensor when it's connected and you have a power and ground wire which I'll have to connect to the car. And this particular one, um, normally this could go to a gauge on your dashboard, but I have a microchip that connects to an app on your smartphone. And that is a multi-gauge tool, which will tell me the um, air fuel ratios and oxygen ratios when the car is running.
This is a replacement unit, a uh, genuine Nissan one, which cost me a little bit of coin. junk in there. It's not good. I need some of this gas to clean it up. Look at that. Convenient. Gas is a good degreaser. I'm trying not to get that into the gas. Clog up my fuel filter. It even cleans your fingers. Look at that. Beautiful. Good stuff. Oh, I don't believe it can go in that way. It goes in this way. it there. Connect the wire. Okay, let's test it in the car. Okay, we're gonna turn the key on and what we should see is we should see a reading to full. Okay, it's going up. Just past full or uh, halfway. Okay, that concerns me a little bit. It's saying it is half full, which we could tell it was full full, not half full. So, I'm just going to wait a little bit and see if it goes up any further. I don't want to start the car because I don't have the exhaust on at the moment. I uh, removed the fuel flow one more time and uh, jiggled it around a little bit to make sure it was loose. So now I'm going to turn the key. Key is on now. And now we have a reading that is pretty close to full. So if I was sitting on the car looking forward that, that's pretty much full. So I'm happy with that. Let's see here. How does that look? 
Yeah, we're pretty close to full. Just under full. So I'm happy with that. That means I think it's working. So that's a successful job. I'm gonna jack up the back of the car now and install the exhaust back in the car. Now that we have the O2 sensor on, and I'll show you a couple things I've done in the back of the car since the last video. As you can see here, this is my MagnaFlow radiator. No, radiator, what a dumbass. This is my Ma <laughs> MagnaFlow ex exhaust uh, muffler, uh, free flowing muffler I installed. And uh, what I have added recently is an exhaust tip, which I have turned down. This is just stainless steel that I cut and shaped and I welded this in myself and actually came out pretty decent so I'm pretty happy with that what was happening before was uh, without this tip I was getting black soot kind of coming all over the uh, back of the car and I don't know if I have a video or a photo of, of that but I'll show you what that was doing so that's one improvement I've done here on the back let me show you the next one the other improvement I've done on the back is adding this spare tire in. Uh, this spare tire comes with a cradle here, and what you do is you undo this bolt, and then this whole thing hinges down, and you're able to access the spare tire. Okay, so the exhaust system is in for now. I just have it loosely bolted in until I get my header fixed and installed. There's another view of the spare tire and the cradle that comes with it. Thanks for watching this week's video everybody. Please like and subscribe and stay tuned for more.